Hazmat. Get a little bit later in this bracket in this wave here. Getting towards the end of our time in Gither Hazmat. Who we got here? Kaizo? Did it. Did it, man. Are you familiar with uh, Kaizo levels in Mario? I'm not, no. So Kaizo, uh, Kaizo was a uh, Japanese level creator, I if I remember the story correctly, who uh, created um, Kaizo Mario. And okay. Kaizo Mario is filled with frame-perfect interactions where Mario has to go through all of these. It's, it's a ROM hack of okay. Mario 3. And Super Mario World is probably the more famous ROM hacks you see of. But uh, Kaizo, absolutely fantastic. Great tag for a Mario player. Uh, versus Scat, going to be kind of interesting because Mario can do some things to Mega Man, but he's got to get in to do it, and Scat's not going to let you in. Definitely not. You can already see uh, Leaf Shield coming out, Metal Blade, all these projectiles that Mega Man has. I mean, Scat is such a smart player, too. We were talking about him earlier, actually. So we're going to see him obviously going to be very familiar with Mario. Such a common character, especially at the beginning of this game. So we're going to see Scat definitely do a good job zoning him out here, just using those lemons, keeping this Mario away. But Kaizo has something to say about that. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Mario can do some things to Mega Man. Definitely, like yeah. It, Mega Man's a great combo weight. Yeah, not only that, he doesn't have amazing get off the options either. I mean, he can up B to escape, but he's not going to hit Mario his way out. But that back air from Mega Man, one of the best in the game. Good setup right there using and the Metal Blade. Jump too. He's dead. Yeah, yeah. That was a great setup. Metal Blade forcing him uh, to interact with it and then catching him with the back air afterwards. Very good stuff from Scat. Nothing out of the norm, though. We're used to seeing that. Oh, he's carrying him? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Lucky break there for Kaizo. Lucky break there for Kaizo. Uh, interaction we didn't expect to see, but yeah, we see him using the cape a lot too, which I do like in this matchup. But it's one of the things you have to pick your spots with it, where you choose the smart things. I don't think it's a good idea to cape lemons. It's you're not going to get anything off it. At the the best you're going to get is they're going to clank with the lemon behind it. See um, Scat again, short hopping, throwing these lemons, weaving back and forward, controlling the neutral, trying to keep Mario away because, like you said, he doesn't want his filthy plumber hands on him. See him cape that by the way, the up air. <laughs> yeah, caped up airs are hilarious. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, Scat looking for the roll behind grab. Does not get it, but he's still doing a great job controlling the neutral. And again, bros, I mean, I got to talk about a theme we've seen. Okay, I was going to say, hold on, hold on one second. See, thing, a, a theme we've seen throughout these sets is the control that item can have in the neutral, forcing your opponent to try to take them, to try to use them against you. Wow, he's dead from this. No, he does manage to avoid the backer. But I just realized, Kaizo hasn't touched him. No. This has got to be so frustrating. Oh. See that? I think he might have been trying to avoid it. Well, no, I don't think the grab that that works on grabs. You can you can Mega Man can duck a lot of tall grabs, like Falcon, for example, and immediately go into an up tilt. So I'm curious to see what Scat was doing with that. Anything, man. Again, another cape from Kaizo. It looks like he's trying to find his way in again. Good grab from Scat off stage. Kaizo makes his way to the ledge. Scat missing the grab too. All right. Ooh, wow, there's those glide tosses. Oh, the glide they're so toss good. The back air, very nice stuff. We'll be seeing you, Scat. Making the Wiimote work out for him. It's, That's sick. It's so good. It's uh, I think it's, it's there's some there's some abbreviation for it that I always blank on that I, I like to talk to Scat about just because like the implementations of it as you see right there, it just allows Mega Man to just zip across the screen. Yeah. So we are of course too. I want to point out that we are in round robin pools. So Correct. We might, might see a couple people even if you see them, you know, potentially. Yeah, hey, I saw him, I saw this guy win his match. I saw this guy lose his match. Could see some win, you know. Don't be confused. It's by that format. We have 50 full setups. Yeah, yeah. And this is running pretty quick, too. It's only 4 o'clock, and we're pretty much done with pools. Yeah, man. Now, cool. granted, it is top 96 now. <laughs> true, true. We, we've, got some, we've got some time to kill before we're done for the day. Absolutely. Uh, anyway, uh, it looks like FD is going to be the counter pick of choice. Kaizo. Uh, you know what? It's going to be tough because you got to get you picked an all horizontal stage. You got to weave around Mega Man and all his projectiles. It's going to be a tough thing to do. Yeah, even on Battlefield, he really struggled in game two to do it. It just doesn't seem like that's going to really change all that much. How strong Scat looked in neutral. Scat doing a great job keeping Kaizo above him in the disadvantage. Very nice. Getting him off stage. Great use of that up air, too. I love it, man. He's, Scat playing so well right now. So clean. You can see his game plan, and it just works out so well. So I'm going to give you the, in the insights. It was not too long ago at Tampa event playing off stream. Scat actually took Salem to game five. So cool. Salem. Salem. Yeah, they went a game five slugfest. MVG Liquid Salem. And that Salem. Woo! The, sa the one and the same. Scat is very good, dude. He's, he's such a smart player, and you can see, like, he's got the game plan ready to go. He's actually got a nasty little secret we're going to see in top 96. A little secondary he's been working on. It's looking, okay. a, looking a little rainy outside, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Uh, if you want to see some crazy technical stuff, though, think about how clean he is with Mega Man and then put all that together into Cloud. Yeah. And it's it's rough. I like when Scat's Cloud's so good. I like when Wow oh, the up tilt sure you can the original sure you can in this game. Very nice stuff Scat. Cleaning off that stock really early. Kaizo just having a hard time getting in Broza. 
I like when uh, FD, it's transitioning and all you can see is Mega Man's eyes. Everything else is kind of, you know. Well, it, on the, uh, the lights just don't allow for yeah, it. Exactly. Something that I've always been appreciative of Scat is even when he and uh, he and Kamehameha were kind of in like that contention of like who is who's going to be the best, and Kamehameha really had that excellent run at Evo and everything else. Scat is very capable of the footstool shenanigans that used that Kamehameha made popular and right. really made his money off of. Yeah. But I just feel like Scat's neutral is so yeah. incredibly strong, where yeah. it's not just reliant on okay, now I have this gimmick to finish you off. Yeah, he's definitely more of a, a neutral base. Not that you know Kamehameha doesn't have an amazing neutral, but Scat's neutral, obviously, like that—that that is the centerpiece of his gameplay. And not that Scott doesn't have great follow-ups or good combos or reads or anything like that, but, you know, people focus on different things in their gameplay, and you see it shine out when I they mean, play we these We talked about it earlier about the Foxes and how yeah. different they play. This is a great example. And the, and the two of them plus Peevenut, it's really interesting to see what they do together. Right Mega here. Man Thick. Right here. Kaizo getting a little offense. Started getting the up smash. Not quite enough to take up Mega Man yet, though. There we go. Scott, good situation. Look at that. I love the way Scott uses walking, too. You see him do it a lot, like you said. You know, doing a good job controlling the neutral. He's looking for a lot of down airs, too, bro. A lot of down airs, and we're going to see an up tilt. I almost guarantee he'll Ooh, finish the okay. second stock with it. Sour spot affair. It's going to work, though. Yeah, it's going to take those. It's like you're at a high enough percent that I'm just going to hammer you with it. Okay, nice. Kaizo definitely showing proficiency with the character of Mario, getting a nice 20% on Scat. Let's see what you can find here now. He's running right in, trying to make his way around these projectiles. Good defense by Scat, defending the metal blade right there. I really like the rising, uh, the rising lemons you're seeing, too, because it's really preventing the jump in and it really just holds Mario in place. It's really, there's not that much that he can do around that. Now, there's something I saw there that was really nice. But first off, great job, Scott, taking that one down. 2-0, very clean gameplay. But he had the side B on Mario, and he knew it was going to detonate soon, so he up-tilted far away from Mario, and he baited him to run in instead of shielding the side B. That was just so smart. Like, that's so next level. Like, understanding all of your character's mechanics and making them work out for you, so. You, are you, you done? Are you done? Are you out? You finished? Yeah, man. Come on, come on, come on. So, so yeah, actually, we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have the man himself hop in now. Uh, this is actually supposed to be his block, but uh, they're like, man, we'll give it to Scat. But in case he doesn't make a good deep run, I'm like, what are you talking about? Scott